Now, how do you remember a guy by the name of Neil? Anybody remember Neil? I'll give you one more piece of the name. How about Neil Armstrong? How many remember Neil Armstrong? Our top astronaut, right? The first guy to step foot on the moon. He saved, single-handedly, he saved two NASA missions. Saved the spacecraft, saved two crews. It, it, it was a mess. That he saved NASA from a terrible disaster two times. So he's 82 years old. He goes in for his physical. He, Neil, you're 82 years old. We've never seen a specimen like you. He's 82 years old, you're as fit as can be. That NASA program must be really great. But we did find one little thing we're concerned about. You have a, 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 a blocked artery. You got a 30% blockage in a coronary artery. Now, it's not dangerous now. You don't even have symptoms. No, I don't have any chest pain or anything. No angina, okay. You're not breath. No, he said, I can run 20 miles every day, no problem. Okay, well, you're fit now. And what we're proposing is we don't wait for five years until it's 70% blocked or 85% blocked. We don't wait until you have a heart attack in the middle of the night and you die on the way to the hospital. You're fit now, and all we want to do is go in there and put a stint in there, do a bypass, and you'll never have to worry about a heart attack. I mean, we were lucky we found it early. Yes, sir! Good naval airman, let's go for it. Well, what did Neil die from? He didn't die of a heart attack. He died from complications resulting from cardiovascular procedures. See, the story was not all the wonderful things that Neil Armstrong did in his life. That was not the story. The headline should have been, Doctors Kill Top Astronaut! But since they have a, a protected monopoly, they killed him and they're hiding. You don't know who the doctor was that killed him. But if that had been a successful thing, that had this news conference and all the white coats and stethoscopes, and oh yeah, it was a very difficult thing and we saved the astronaut and how wonderful, my name is Dr. Sonny, here's my 800 number, you can call me for appointments. And it would have been a big hoo-ha, right? But since they killed him, they're not gonna let you know who they are. Are you beginning to get a picture here? So if they can kill an Andy Rooney, a Dick Clark, and Neil Armstrong, and another couple of hundred thousand people each year who are nameless because they're not famous, Michael Jackson, there's another one, stupid Dr. Murray, probably snorting half of Michael's drugs, you know, Michael just happened to pick one of the dumbest, most careless doctors on earth. 